Sometimes all you need to do is change your perspective. That can be the same thing in CapCut desktop app while video editing. I'm going to show you how you can actually change your perspective in the app on a video project. So without further ado, let's get into it. The first thing you want to make sure you do is have an image on your timeline. As you can see here, I've added this image. And what we can do from here is go ahead and make sure that it's selected. We're going to go up to the top right hand side and make sure that we have selected animation. From animation, you can see there is an in and out and a combo. We want to select combo. Once we've selected combo, we're going to go ahead and scroll and look for flip. Now you will see a few flip variations. And you can try a bunch of them and see which one works best for you. But for me, flip six is the best one. And what you want to do is go ahead and click on it. What will happen now is you're going to go ahead and scrub to the right and find the perspective of your frame that you would like. You can use your arrow keys on your keyboard or you can just push play and pause when you have found the frame that you would like. Now this is the frame that I like and what I'm going to do is again, I'm going to make sure that my image is selected and on my timeline, I'm going to right click on the actual clip and I'm going to click on create compound clip. Now basically this will allow us to convert this image into a video clip or an MP4 format and here we'll have the ability to freeze a frame which is just above our timeline. It's the square icon with a line on either side of it and we're going to click down on this. As you can see it's created a freeze frame and what we're going to do is we are going to find an additional frame that we would like to freeze. I've now found the frame that I would like. I'm going to just make sure that the clip that I'm working with is selected and freeze the frame. From here, we're going to go ahead and delete or remove anything that we don't need. For example, the clips other than the freeze frames. And we're going to make sure that the freeze frame of the one perspective is duplicated. So we're going to duplicate the one that looks like the left side. All we need to do is make sure that the clip is selected and we're going to use Control C to copy and Control V on our keyboard to paste. As you can see, here it is now. And with this specific clip, what we're going to do is on the top of your timeline, you have what looks like two triangles sitting back to back. And that's the mirror effect. And we're going to go ahead and flip this. As you can see here now, we've flipped this and we want to make sure that all of these images are on top of each other. And from here, we want to make sure that we're selecting them going up to the player window or the player pane. And we are going to click down and move them into the place that we would like to have them. You can see now that we've changed all the details of the images and now we have changed the perspective of the images altogether. You can now see here by just clicking on this full screen what it looks like in detail. You can go ahead and explore this technique to make your videos amazing. We'll see you in another awesome one, people. Peace out.